Hi, I'm Venus O'Hara and welcome to a new video. I make content about holistic self-love. And in this video, I'm going to be talking to you about the meditation for cutting cords and how powerful it can be. And also I'm making this video because I've just released my very own meditation for cutting energy cords and it's available on my podcast, the Orgasmic Lifestyle Podcast, and it's episode 101 link in the description below. So I wanted to make a video about the power of um, this type of meditation and when it can be used or when it can be used or should be used. I don't like the word should. Um, and how powerful it can be. So this meditation is for you if there is someone or something in your life that you would like to disconnect from. Disconnect in an energetic way. For example, even though someone might not be in your life, Maybe they're in your thoughts, maybe they're in your heart, and maybe they might be provoking sensations in you that are unpleasant. So in that case, that would be um, the type of scenario for using this type of meditation. So what it is basically is that you close your eyes and you imagine that there is an energetic cord between you and this other person. And as you imagine this cord, you make these scissor gestures with your hand and you start to cut, 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 cut that cord. What's very important in this process is to actually send love and gratitude to that person. No resentment. I know it's very tempting if someone is provoking negative sensations in you that you're going to feel oh, out of my life. I was going to say fuera then, which is Spanish for out. But um, it's always best to be loving, release with love. And then when you start cutting, 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 releasing with love, all this gratitude for the lessons that person has taught you in your life, it gets to a point where you feel that the cord has gone. It's dissolved. And then you just feel lighter, lighter after. And this is my experience with cutting cords. And many people would say the same thing. Sometimes it could take more than one cutting cord session to actually um, reach that sensation of lightness and also disconnection, which is what you want to go for. I first came across this um, maybe about six years ago, something like that. I was at the beginning of my spiritual journey. And there was one person in my life who I had, you know, who's been very special in my life for many, many, many years. Someone I cannot completely disconnect from because we are very connected in other ways. And um, we used to see each other in, in person and in video calls and um, yeah, in person and video calls. And it got to a point where our interaction started to become very negative. For example, we would start a call with a catch up and I was so excited about all the things I was doing in my life. And then there was always a moment where the dig came. It was always some kind of passive aggressive um, or kind of um, berating comment, something. It was always related to my work as a as someone who is in the field of holistic self-love. They were telling me things like, when are you going to get a proper job? You know, <laughs> um, so they didn't really know that much about what I did. And I don't think what I do is is limited by age. I think you can be a content creator for as long as you want to do it for. So he didn't really know much about my world, wasn't very curious, but he was very quick to criticize. And that just made me feel really down because I was always excited about these new things that I was telling him about. And maybe I realized then, maybe I shouldn't say, tell him all these things. Um, but it got to a point where I just um, stopped engaging in um, video calls with him. And I decided to actually shadow ban him <laughs> or kind of downgrade our our interactions to text only at birthdays and and Christmas. So, so that's what it is currently. And um, but what have we, what was really interesting after doing the cord cutting meditation with this specific person in mind was that after that point, whenever I saw his name on my phone or um, I was in conversations and people that we know we're talking about him, suddenly there was no more triggers. I just felt completely light and almost indifferent and just wishing him well and just seeing him and all the closeness that we shared as from a previous stage in my life. It's not really from the current stage. So, and, and also now our interactions are fairly um, pleasant, but they're, they're not close. They're not close like they were. And I'm not really that bothered. Because it's interesting because sometimes you need to distance yourself from people 
in order for them to respect you. And that's a really hard lesson that I've learned in my life. So I know that now, after creating this distance, he has way more respect for me now, and he would never dream of saying the things that he used to. Um, and in Spanish, there's an expression which is um, um, la confianza da asco. And, and, and literally that means trust is disgust. It's like the more you know someone, um, the more they can really disappoint you, or they, the more they can kind of, the more they can get away with, which is not a cool thing. And it should be the opposite, that the more we trust people, the more they should be uplifting us. But anyway, that's what I think. So there you go. That is the cutting cords meditation. But on my podcast, it's a little bit more developed than that. So it's a, a walk through a forest and then you get to this amazing summit and you start to imagine and visualize these cords between you and other people in your life. And you choose one specific person. You start the release, love and gratitude. Always remember love and gratitude. And then there are some uh, powerful affirmations for when you are doing this process. And then obviously afterwards you're all light and feeling amazing. And what's very important is from uh, um, with this is that you are then creating space for new chords to enter your life and hopefully those chords will create or provoke more um, pleasant sensations in you and more positivity. So that is um, why you would do um, a cord cutting, energy cord cutting meditation. It's super, super, super powerful. If you do it, please let me know how it is and how it works for you, or if you ever tried this before, because everyone has someone or something in their life that they that they want to kind of <laughs> get rid of kind of thing, especially now as we approach Christmas, um, you know, these oblig obligatory family gatherings and, and, you know, all these types of gatherings that we're having with work colleagues and family and friends, and they're not always pleasant. Um, yeah, so that might be something that's useful for this time of year. Yeah, and also speaking of this time of year, um, it's the 1st of December on Sunday, if I'm correct. I'm going to be doing Vlogmas again. Vlogmas is daily uploads, but my daily uploads are not going to be to do with Christmas because I don't celebrate Christmas really. I don't have any, you know, presents or decorations. I'm not going to be talking about Christmas shopping, so I just don't do that. But I'll be talking about all the things I speak about here. Um, so that will be holistic self-love and dating, relationships, um, sex toys, what else, um, meditation and everything and everything else that you might want to know about. If you have any suggestions for for topics, don't hesitate to leave a comment because I'll be reading all of the comments and replying and hopefully you will inspire me. I do Vlogmas every year because it's kind of good for the algorithm and it's good for me to kind of connect with a bit more with you with daily uploads and also it helps me kind of get loose and get get like more comfortable in front of the camera because I'm not I'm not a natural at this. I just feel quite shy a lot of the time. So I'm really trying to uh trying to uh, yeah get out of my comfort zone and just uh, improve yeah anyway that is it for today I hope you check out my meditation and if not I have many more episodes that are interesting on my podcast um, the orgasmic lifestyle podcast link is in the description below and also if you'd like to download my free life upgrade meditation with 100 powerful affirmations that represent 12 areas of the life wheel the link is also in the description below thanks for watching and i'll be back soon with some more videos Mwah.